Penelope Bailey. You have reached consultant Benjamin from the Federal Reserve Bank in Charleston, West Virginia. Please leave a message and I will turn your call as soon as I am available. I am probably busy assisting another customer. Yeah, this is Penelope Bailey. I'm calling you back about the grant. Thank you. Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello. Yeah, um, yeah good afternoon, Mrs. Bailey. I'm so sorry um, that I didn't get to give you a call earlier. I was really busy, okay? Okay, um, yeah, I, can we start from the beginning? Because um, I'm trying to understand what's going on. You said this is about a, a federal grant? Yes, ma'am, that is correct. Um, and and your name is and, and your name is uh, Benjamin. What's your last name? Augustus. Augustus. Okay. Okay. And um, it, your 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 voicemail said you were with the Federal Federal Reserve Bank. Um, in Charleston, West Virginia. Okay. All right. Um. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to uh, figure out what's going on. I'm looking at the text that you sent me. You said you were a consultant from the administrative department. Is that of the bank? Um, yes, ma'am. That is correct. And I also work with um, a government organization. Which one? Um, I also work with the a government organization. That's the, the um, DHHS. DHHS. Okay. All yes. right. You said this is about um, a $6,700 federal grant? Yes, ma'am. 6700 Um, It was sent here at the Federal Reserve Bank in the form of a federal, um, of a cashier's check. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was sent here in the form of a cashier's check. Why didn't the government, um, okay, why didn't the government contact me about this? I'm, I'm, I'm confused. I'm not quite sure. Um, did you receive a bright blue envelope in your mail? Well, I did get something from Social Security because I I, I enabled two-factor authentication. They forced us to do that. And then um, I got a letter from the IRS because um, I had to make payment arrangements with them. But that's that's the only letters I got from the government. So you you did not um, receive a bright blue envelope from the Federal Reserve? A blue envelope? No. Oh, it, it was supposed to be mailed out from the 17th of August. Well, if they put it in the regular mail and slapped a stamp on it, God knows where it could be now. They should, if this is important official business, no, they should have, they should have sent it, um, mail. they should have sent it registered mail, so I had to sign for it, or certified mail. Yes, it was sent through certified mail, that is why. Well, I'm, I'm always I'm home, confused. I would have, if they, if you, they just sent it certified mail, the mailman would have knocked on the door and I would have answered it, but no, nothing, no, I'm always here. That's what I'm saying, I'd have to get a hold of, um manager and see what's up with that i was not aware that you didn't receive the envelope all, all right well do you want to do you want my address so you can send the check to me yes ma'am that is correct but we have some stuff that was supposed to be processed what pardon what needs to be processed um it was supposed to be in the in the documents i'm not quite sure as i said i've just been assigned to make sure everything um has been processed and delivered so i'm going to have to reach to my manager and get um a copy sent over or something well we because, uh, you've been, you texted um, you me on saturday you texted me this holiday weekend i would have thought you would have had all your ducks in a row but uh before you called me and you would know what was going on ma'am ma when i when i when i got a hold of you i thought you were aware i thought you were aware with um with everything because when I said that you have accumulated the grant, you did not ask any. You did not um, ask any questions or act like. Well, you that's were because unaware. we. This is the first time we've talked with in, in any length on the phone. You've been texting me. I've been trying to figure understood. out what's going on, and I did ask questions. I did. Okay, understood. All right. Well, so as I said, um, I'm not in. I'm not responsible for the delay of your documents. I'd have to get a hold of my manager, and see what's up with that so we can have um so that you can be aware all right well please have everything ready and i'm not sure how when we're going to be able to talk again i'm packing up a bag i'm getting ready to leave for a long weekend with friends and i won't be back until monday so oh okay if, can you call me back this afternoon 
Um, this afternoon, I'm about what time? It's currently 2.57. If you can call me back right away, that would be great. Because like I said, I'm packing up a bag. My friends are going to be here um, in a couple hours and we're going to be leaving. All right, I'm going to call them now and, and call you back ASAP. And could you text me your email address? Yeah, I can do that. All right, then. Talk to you in a few. Mm -hmm, bye. Penelope Bailey. You have reached Consultant Benjamin from the Federal Reserve Bank in Charleston, West Virginia. Please leave a message and I will turn your call as soon as I am available. I am probably busy assisting another customer. Yeah, Mr. Um, Augustus, I believe your last name is. You just texted me a message about saying that you've been trying to investigate where the paperwork has ended up, although they can't claim or access anything from it because it was billed to you. I don't understand what you mean. Um, I, I'll try to call you later. Penelope Bailey. Yeah, good afternoon, Miss Bailey. Uh, yeah, is this Mr. Augustus? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry I missed your call earlier. Um, what I was saying is that, um, so, as I said, I don't remember if you remember when we were speaking last week, and I said, um, I wanted you to receive the paperwork. Right, so I never, okay, I, I gave you my email and you never sent me anything. And then this message yes, that you, this saying. text message that you sent me said you were trying to investigate and something about because it was, it was billed to you? What was billed to me? I don't understand. Okay, all right, so there was not supposed to be any errors with um, the delivery of the mail because it was sent through certified mail. So when I reached out to my manager and said, um, I need a copy of Mrs. Bailey's notification and so on, he was saying that what happened to the original one? I said, you didn't receive it. He said, um, how, how comes? Because um, you were supposed to sign for it. Based on my knowledge, he said you were supposed to sign for it. Right. If so, okay, yeah. I've lived. Okay, if I've lived here for a while, um, if you sent it to me and you sent it to the correct address and it's certified, I would have got it. That's why we're investigating. Mm -hmm. um, but as I said, um, we're just working on getting that started, and we would just resend it to your email or so. On. But he just wanted to find out where it went. I don't know. I guess you'll have to contact the post office. If you kept your paperwork, you have tracking information, you can contact them and find out. Yeah, that um, we contacted the agent and so on, and he's um, looking into it. But it's because um, he, he, he didn't get back to work until this morning. Mm. So I'm waiting on a response from them now. Okay, so sometime this week I might be able to get this grant? Yes, ma'am, absolutely. It's just because um, of the weekend and no one was working. No, um, no one at the the delivery office. The one that deal with the certified meal because you have some agents here that they uh, that only deals with the meal. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess contact me when um, I, when everything's you know. I thought that this would have been all taken care of. The paperwork would have been done. But I guess just contact me when it's all ready to go. Yes, ma'am. I will. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Hello? 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 Uh, hey, Miss Bailey. Yeah, I've been trying to get a hold of you. I can't get a hold of you. Oh, I'm sorry about that. It's because I've been really busy. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Um, because even now I'm on the road. Um, but what's up? I can talk. All right. Um. For t all right. I was reading your uh, text from Friday. I, I was. Oh, for the board exam. Yeah. Um. I'm sorry. There's some background about, noise. About the board exam. Yeah, I couldn't hear you. There's some background noise. You said you finalized the arrangements, yeah. but you need to confirm uh, if I can secure a hundred and fifty dollars for the border stamp. This is a United. Yeah, this is a United yeah, States grant, that. right? This is a United States grant. Yes, that's correct. And it's not a loan. It's a money grant. Offering. All right. If it's a United States grant, why am I paying one hundred fifty dollars for a border stamp? 
I can I can send you the information about the border stamp. But there the should be no border stamp, stamp okay? The, this is this is a. I'm sorry, this is a United States grant. There should be no border stamp. It's not coming out of. I know you have done business in your past, and you know that the government requires taxes, right? No, actually, I got a Pell grant when I was in college. They didn't require any taxes. You applied for it at that time, ma'am. So, I know people that have gotten United States grants and they didn't have to go through all this and they sure didn't have to pay a border stamp. A border stamp is something that's imported. A United States grant is not imported.